episode 3,326, Preparation for Tomorrow. Moms, it's time to rediscover, rejuvenate, and renew who you are in mind, body, and spirit. Welcome to Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie, the show to help you do just that. Here's your host, certified life coach, personal trainer, and nutritionist, Christiane Wargo. Happy, happy day. Are you ready for a brand new week? Because it is here. It's Mindset Monday. And yes, have you looked at your schedule? Are you preparing for what's to come? Well, it's all about preparation for tomorrow. For those of you who are brand new to Creature Now, welcome to this incredible family. I'm so delighted of your presence. If you already even had the opportunity, you'll want to head over to CreatureNow.com where you can learn more and sign up for the Kisses newsletter, the Keep It Simple Strategy, Everyday Solutions to Live, Love, and Impact. Well, this episode is brought to you by AIM, inspiring connection and community. We'll take a deep breath. Yes, we are opening up the doors of AIM. They're not quite open yet. We've got a couple lagging things that we need to get done on the website, but it's coming. I promise you it's coming. I was really hoping to have it done by February, uh, but sometimes life happens. And so, yes, let's just plan it for spring break. I mean, we've got... uh, Let's see, is it daylight savings time coming where we spring forward this coming weekend? So already begin to prepare for tomorrow. In the words of legendary martial artist Bruce Lee, he says, preparation for tomorrow is hard work today. You've got to embrace the challenges of today to shape a brighter tomorrow. It's unfortunate, though, that in our hectic lives that are filled with routines and familiarity, it's hard for us to step out of our comfort zones to make changes. And when we want to do that, it's like, no, 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 no. I'm just to stay comfortable And that desire just feels daunting. It's like, it's just one more thing. What's on your schedule today that you wish was not there? Come on, I know you know it. We all look at it. We all say, oh my gosh, yes, I've got to do this. And then we put that to the very last thing. What if you were to move that to the front of the line today? The one thing you don't want to do. Now, I know if it's like going to the doctors and you've got a four o'clock in the afternoon appointment, you can't move that up. But you can decide on how you want to approach it in your mind. I get to go to the doctor. I get to see how good I'm doing with my body. That's a totally different conversation with yourself than, yeah, maybe I should just call and cancel. I can reschedule. I don't really need to do it now, really. Is there ever a good time to go to the doctor? Maybe only when it's in that 911 situation, but that's not the time that you should rely on going to your physician, right? Take care of yourself. Preparation for tomorrow is hard work today. And I find it very interesting that tomorrow never comes. Why? Because tomorrow becomes today. Yeah, let's take that one for a deep one on a Monday. But we sit here and we so meticulously plan our schedules, We want everything lined up. We look at our kids' schedules. Oh, I've got to take her to the basketball practice today. Oh, and then we've got dance practice. And then my son, he's playing on the baseball team. So I've got to go there too. And then at some point, I know I've got to get dinner on the table. And I need to run by the post office because I've got to drop this package off. Because yes, I ordered it and it doesn't fit and I'm sending it back. What does your schedule look like? Are you so ingrained in, I've got to get everything laid out. I got to go to work. I got to do all of this for my boss. And then it's like, it's just the steamroller effect. And it's no wonder that you lay down in bed going, what have I accomplished today? Because you really don't know. You really don't know. But then tomorrow becomes today and you start all over again. Steamroller. Boop, boop. I feel like we need to have a backup button on us. Beep, 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 beep. Because it seems like as much as we want to move forward, we're always moving backward. Let me ask you this question. Why hold back on what you know you need to change in order to go where God has called you to go? Why do you hesitate? Why are you so bent on this is what I want to do, and I'm going to do all of this first, but I'm going to put all of this other stuff off. Maybe you need to clean that linen closet. We're going to be having some major construction happening in our house. It's exciting. We're redoing some things, 
And I love it. But I also know it's going to be more of a mess before it becomes beauty. And there's going to be dust everywhere. And it's fine dust because we're getting our hardwood floors redone. And yes, they've got great things out there, right, that sucks it up as they sand it down. But, you know, there's something about that dust that gets in the nooks and crannies. And it's going to be all over everything. So already I'm preparing. Over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be shifting where the studio is. I've got to move my office. I've got to make some changes. Do I really want to do it? No. But I know this is what I need to do because I've got to get all this done so I can go where God has called me to go. But the hard thing is, honestly, we don't want to do the hard work today. We just hope tomorrow is better. I mean, Bruce Lee, I mean, think about it. Preparation for tomorrow is hard work today. And your tomorrow becomes today. So what are you willing to put in? It's time to take aim and prepare for the future you desire. That is your kiss to keep it simple strategy. Take aim. Action ignites motivation. People always ask me, Christiane, how do you keep doing what you do? I'm like, I just keep moving. I just keep going. One step in front of the next, right? One foot, one step. When I really kind of got a grip on my life, when it came to my health, and I had been through many challenges, and I'm still going through some of them. I'm really fine-tuning right now. But over a decade ago, when I was going through my tornado, my husband had told me he'd fallen out of love. And I looked at myself in the mirror, and I was like, yeah, I don't love you either. don't like the way you look. I don't like the way you feel. I was talking to myself. I wasn't talking to my husband. I mean, he had his own issues, but I had mine. And I needed to figure out what I needed to do. Now, Let's go back to Bruce Lee. Preparation for tomorrow is hard work today. If I wanted a better future, I had to put the work in every single day. My presence was required. Did I like it? Nope. So what did I do? I did everything I didn't want to do when I first woke up between 3.30 and 4 o'clock every morning. My body would naturally wake up. I got up and I went out and I walked and I walked and I walked which eventually led to running miles upon miles upon miles. And it's there when I realized falling down at the foot of a graveyard, yes, that's exactly what happened. And I'm writing my book right now, and and a lot of this is going to come out in the book. But it's not about me. It's about literally looking at your life and saying, okay, I want this, and I know God wants that for me, but what do I need to do today in order to get there? Most of us don't want to do what we need to do today to get to where God wants us tomorrow. And remember, tomorrow becomes today. You got to take aim. Action ignites motivation. You've got to embrace the change. You've got to embrace saying, okay, I I know I need to do something. So what does it look like in real life? Number one, embrace new skills. You may not like computers, but computers, mm, it's called technology. If you want to talk to your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, you better start learning to use a phone and how to text. Seriously. You need to learn. Maybe you get a tablet and you start with something so simple. It doesn't have to be a lot of money, but you need to be able to communicate with the ones you love. And nowadays it involves some form of a computer, whether it's a phone, a tablet, an actual computer, desktop, laptop. Embrace new skills. And what this boils down to is personal growth. You know, looking at yourself in the mirror, oh, I don't like who I see, I don't like how I feel. My friend, self-improvement is a journey that requires dedication and perseverance. That means that one step at a time leads to miles of greatness. And by stepping out of your comfort zone and acquiring new skills or knowledge, like read good books, listen to great podcasts. Thank you for listening. I would like to think that I'm adding value to your life. I want you to be a deep thinker of where God wants you to go. I want you to be present with those that you love and the family and friends that are around you, and the community that you serve. You, my friend, are investing in your future success. Tony Robbins said, if you do what you've always done, you'll get what you've always gotten. 
So you can stay in that great lazy boy recliner. It's comfy. It's got your butt prints in it. Whoop, whoop. Feels good when you're tired. But not so much when you need the energy to move ahead, to move forward. Preparation for tomorrow is hard work today. Number two, set clear goals. You've got to understand your GPS system, where you're headed. So define your aspirations. Outline a roadmap on how you want to get there. If it involves weight loss, great. What does that look like? Set clear goals. Maybe it's just to drink more water, right? Maybe it's to clean your linen closet. Spring is around the corner. Woo, I cannot wait. I want the warmer weather. I want the beautiful blooms. I've been watching my trees. I'm like, oh, are they close to budding? Because some of them I need to trim. And I'm concerned because every once in a while, like we did last year, we get this late freeze and it totally destroyed a lot of our shrubbery and our trees. And so they are basically in rehabilitation right now. They've gone a year and they're coming back. These are you know, shrubs and trees that have been taken care of for decades now. And I don't want to just uproot them and plant new ones. Why? Because then they're going to be babies and I got to wait till they grow. No, I want to love on them. And so I'm making sure I'm fertilizing them appropriately. I've got them on a special training schedule. Yeah, not just me on a training schedule, but my trees, my shrubs, my plants. If you always keep doing what you've always done, you're always going to get what you've gotten. So if you want something different, you got to go a different mile. In order to go that different mile, you got to have clear goals. You don't get in the car and say, well, I want to go to this town over and you've never driven there. And you just start driving. And you decide you're not even going to look at the signs on the road, those green signs that tell you your direction. You just keep driving on roads. Do you think you're going to get to where you want to go? Nope, I don't think so. So set specific measurable goals so you can track your progress and stay motivated, right? Take aim, action ignites motivation. Lewis Carroll said, if you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. Think about that for a moment. Yeah, that GPS system. Are you going to utilize it? Are you going to say, yep, I know where I want to go, so I'm going to plug it in. Yes, I may have three or four different routes. I may need to pivot or reroute once in a while, but at least I will know where I'm headed. And I can make adjustments along the way instead of just getting in the car and, oh, I think I'm going to turn right here. Oh, wait, mm, there's three different roads here. Mm, I'm going to kind of go cattywampus left. Great. Where is that going to take you? I have no idea, but it's going to be an adventure. Don't live your life in a non-directional pattern. Live your life with purpose, on point. And finally, number three, embrace resilience. Change is not always easy. And setbacks, they're going to happen. They just are. However, it's essential to cultivate resilience and adaptability when you face challenges. You've got to be flexible. As a mama of five, a grandma of two now, whew, flexibility is my middle name. I have to be able to, you know, say yes or no on the spur of a moment. My son called me and he goes, Mom, I want to go out with my friends. Would you be okay if I drop my puppy dog off? He's a puppy, he needs training, and he's like, I'm going to be gone for like six, eight hours, and I really don't want him sitting in his kennel that long. He can perfectly handle that, the dog, I mean. But I get where he's coming from. And so I was going to be working around the house anyway. I finally got my Christmas trees put away. Yes, it's in March, and I finally got my Christmas trees put away. I know. But that's how my life has been. It's just been a little bit crazy. Adaptability is my friend. Flexibility is my middle name. Yes. Strength is not measured by how much you can take, but by how much you can surrender. Wow. Are you utilizing your strength to build resilience? Embrace that resilience as a tool to overcome obstacles and keep moving forward. Remember, the choices you make today are going to shape your tomorrow, the tomorrow you desire. So embrace the change. It's okay. Change is inevitable. Change is a constant in your life. You're always changing. Look in the mirror. You've got another wrinkle. I'm sorry, but it's adorable. Embrace it. Set goals, new goals. Dream bigger dreams for the stage of life that you're in right now. 
and cultivate that resilience to prepare for what? A brighter tomorrow. So my challenge for you today is, where are you in achieving your dreams? Are you where you want to be? I know for us right now, we want to build our dream home. But that means we have to do a few other things in order to get to that point in our life. So guess what? Preparation for that life, for that tomorrow, is hard work today. Yep, remember all the little dust and clearing out and sanding down the hardwood floors and having to move my office and the studio? Yep, that's the hard work. Do I want to do it? Nope. But where I want to go in building our dream home? Yes, that's where I want to be. What can you do today to impact your tomorrow? My friend, one step at a time leads to miles of greatness. Get on the train of where God has you going. Go in peace, be present, be incredible, be you. I love you so very much. I cannot wait to see you on the other side. Blessings, hugs, and lots and lots of love. We'll talk to you real soon. Have a glorious, blessed day. Bye-bye. Feeling inspired, ready to train for life, and love your journey? Visit createyournow.com for more incredible resources to help you along the way. We'll see you next time on Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. And remember, always be sure you consult your physician before beginning any health and fitness plan.